This man is the best defender that I would actually say the smartest defender that we've seen in the league probably in the last 20 years. Stay to the end of the video and find out how this man is a cut above the rest. What is good, everybody out there? Thanks again for checking into another episode of Court Thoughts, the channel where we basically talk basketball. In the past couple of episodes that I've been doing, I've been trying to organize doing defensive-minded videos. Um, and even in the early days of the channel, I've tried to find balance. I've tried to find this sort of combination of having offensive highlights and defensive highlights. And... The shit is hella hard. Nope, 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 not doing it, not doing it, not doing it. I didn't press right. When it happened, I was like, why did that happen? <laughs> but I wanted to try and give some homage to this man and get some, get some shine on this man because I think that this man's defensive ability is not unknown, especially if you've been paying, to, paying attention to the channel because your boy's been talking this man's name so much out there that, well, you know what? If you aren't familiar with how much I like this man's defensive game, well, you gotta like and subscribe because you haven't stuck around for long enough. <laughs> But this man is Marcus Smart. I really like the way that he plays defensively, especially when I caught wind of a video actually not that long ago. I, I really started to understand how smart he was when I watched this video of him not that long ago. And I mentioned it in a previous video, to be honest with you, I cannot remember which one, but he was talking about playing a game within the game and that he would work his ass off to try and, as a defender, make the offensive players run more east to west because, as an offender, they want to run north to south. Well, way over here, nigga. It's, remember, it's four of the guys on this. So you probably gonna have somebody here to help, somebody here. And now, he's supposed to be going. They want to go in a straight line from bucket to bucket. If they can, to score bucket to bucket, bucket to bucket, right? But as a defender, you want to make them tired. You want to wear them down. And so getting them to go east to west is his sort of tactic. Having this mentality made me realize that this man is on another level. On another level. Now, we're going to be checking out a new channel today. Now, the channel is from Thomas Kordalewski. Now, I've got the link in the description if you want to go ahead and check out the video for yourself. But the video we are checking out is Best of Marcus Smart Defense and Hustle in 2020-21 NBA season. Guys, let's jump straight in. And let's go ahead and check out this video. Let's do it. All right, guys, let's check out Thomas Kordalewski's video. Let's do it. So he's on Giannis, swiping at the ball. Oh, way to get that charge. Bro, getting a charge legit is like, that's where the, the smart aspect, like not, no pun intended. Right, that's where you really got to be educated. Good hands. Man, I'm surprised that shit wasn't a foul there. Great. Great hands, man. Bump it in. Boston coming up with a steal. Great pass. I love that. Celtics turning their defense into offense and being unselfish. Tristan Thompson with the flush. And guys running the I thought he would have gone straight up, eh? Barrett. Good move. Oh, bro. Bro. Bumps in, takes the contact, gets his clamp straight on the ball, dude. Ooh. Dude, to get in on that blind side like that. Oh, my God. That's so hard. He's right underneath him. Oh, good hands. 
I don't know why they would call that a jump ball. It's not like enough contention for control of the ball, in my opinion. Quickly trying to get it to Durant. Good hustle by the South. They come up with a steal. Ooh. Giannis behind the back. Side step and I wonder if that's probably the best defensive tactic that they have to stopping the Euro step. A Euro step on the fly. Killing his handle off. Talking. Great work, man. Getting in his discomfort zone. He obviously wants to get down. You know he wants to get downhill. So smart, man. You're going to hear that a lot today. <laughs> Oof. I promise you, it doesn't hurt to get on the ground. Oh, wow. Excellent pass by Tremont Waters. Making an impact on this game. And Marcus Smart. Showing the defense, hitting the floor, trying to inspire. Great pop. That's a great pass, man. Never turn Cutting the angle. So quick. Oh, killing that. Oof. Such a great defender, man. Oh, great pass. That running transition, especially like that, where they have that center line coverage, is really easy for them to pick up the ball, like to, to pick off the ball. So you've got to give it some height, but you can't give it too much height that it gets picked off. Charge? Ooh, just enough. That semicircle that you can see under there is a no charge circle, so you can't have a charge called in there. Wow! That looks so much more brutal, like in live action. Good hands. Try to sell it with that fake lead. Oh, good hands. Oof. Chasing down. Oof. Man, he's just running his ass off. The best defenders, they do that, bro. Give another second. Look like he was about to be in position for an easy bucket. Oh, smart with the steal. Pushing it. Round the Great hands. Oof. Gets fouled. Hey, that is just bulldog defense by Legitimately. I would have thought that would have been a foul. I ain't going to lie. In the open floor, just taking a chance. But it's hard to get, like, when it's in those live-action motions, like, the refs do want to let the ball play. They don't just want to keep stopping the ball. Bro, he's just so smart getting right underneath it for that foul. For the charges to get called. Definitely going to have to watch this guy's video and break it down for my own sort of awareness, get my mind right. Woof. Woof. Was able to get back to See, that to me looks like a foul because he's breaking his cylinder. Ooh. Way to cut off like that, man. Again, breaking the cylinder. That's a tough one, man. Ooh. Oh, heck of a save. Ooh. Real good save. Gets the deflection, but watch the stage. That's crazy. Wow, that's tight. Look at Marcus Smart again. Ooh. You know, like we call this this generation of players, he's the best scorer we have. I don't know if there's a chase down pure scorer in the NBA. Ooh. Great communication. You see that there? He was communicating as he was coming down where to go. And he was clearly not in a strong enough position to slow the ball down. So great way to communicate. Great way. Anthony. 
Shielding out. Oh my god. Ah, it's big boy moves there. He's getting, he gets so many of those like sneaky charges where you can see that as soon as they start to drift their eyes away, he's just getting underneath them. Is he going to fill in here? Oh, dig that. Rip it. That's a big, big thing that they stress when you're a kid. Is as soon as you get in a 50-50 control like that, you got to rip it. You can't like just hold it. You got to rip it. Irving takes it to the Ooh. basket and got waxed. That's oh, tough. Come on. Let's see that again. Excellent defense. Pulled his hands back, takes the hit, elevates, pulls his hands See back, that there? So when Ad started to play, as I said this, but you could see, and I'm going to break this down more in the outro, but the, the breaking of the cylinder is what ultimately caused that to be a foul. But honestly, thank you so much, Thomas. That video was absolutely fire. Some real, real good compilation videos there. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Now, guys, for those of you that are new to the channel, at the end of the reaction, I do my breakdown and essentially my analysis of what I found. So let's get straight into it. I've mentioned this in previous videos, but the movement, the body movement and anticipatory reactions in staying in front of the players and still being able to shield your hips in front of them without having to turn and swivel your hips as much is fantastic, man. Fantastic. Elite defenders do that. Some of the best examples of seeing players move their hips like that is... I would definitely say Kawhi Leonard does a fantastic job of that, but some better examples in my, my mind that I think that are underappreciated would absolutely have to be Alex Caruso and absolutely Lonzo Ball. Now, if you haven't checked out those reactions to those guys, please make sure you go ahead and do that. But the, the movement and being able to stay in front, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, in creating as much of a game in a left to, to right or an east to west movement as opposed to a north to south movement, is what creates that separation in the defense, uh, in, in, in your defensive IQ, in your defensive capabilities. You would have also heard me say throughout the reaction that he was getting these really sneaky charge calls. As soon as you would see, I think there was a Julius Randle uh, instance where I commented to, where you see that the defender sort of starts to look away. And as soon as they look away, he's like sliding in right in front of them that it's so late that they can't do anything. And so many players have so much momentum going towards the bucket that he is just quick enough to get in. Such a high level IQ to be able to do that. I I would really say that that's something that I'm absolutely gonna be watching more videos of his in private to try and get more of an understanding on how he's doing that because that's absolutely something I think that I could probably add to my own game. The other thing that I wanted to talk about from the, the, the reaction was active hands. Again, I've mentioned this in some of the previous reactions that I've done that are specifically defensive minded. But having active hands allows you to disrupt the movement and really keep the defender on their toes. I mentioned this in the Patrick Beverly reaction that you want to make the offensive players and the offensive team, your opposing team, believe that the ball is never safe. If you can do that, you can get in the head and you can really start to have them become nervous and anxious, which applies extra pressure to themselves. They're, they're applying the pressure to themselves. You ain't got, you're not doing anything extra, you're just doing your job. So it really goes to show that that little detail in just being tenacious, in just being a bulldog, helps you get fear into their heart, you know? Like really just get at them. Now, the one thing that you would have heard me say a fair few times as well is that I was surprised that there wasn't more foul calls made, specifically even in the last example where they uh, showed the clip, where Thomas showed the clip of uh, the defense against Kyrie Irving. Now, I want to specify exactly what I'm talking about. As a defender, your job is to stay in front of the player without impeding their movement. Otherwise, that is essentially considered blocking. So you're allowed to get in front of them to stop them. They can't essentially go through you, but you can sort of get in front of them to sort of have to make them deviate away because they can't come through you. Now, in the same way, you can't shield them and move them across because that's ultimately blocking. But you also have to be aware that when you are contesting a shot, 
you cannot break their cylinder. Now, what is their cylinder? The cylinder is essentially an imaginary cylinder or force field that goes around their body in a straight line. So if you were to think of like a can, if their body could fit inside of a can, you couldn't penetrate the can. That's essentially what I'm talking about when I say a cylinder. Now, when you go back, if you wanted to watch some of those reactions, again, knowing this information, you see quite a fair few times that his hand comes into the cylinder and does touch on the ball. Now, touching on the ball is not so much of an issue. It's where the rest of your hand is. Now, if you think about when you are shooting a ball, okay, you have the ball like this. The ball's right here in front of you. Now, if you get your hand on the ball, not so much of an issue, not a problem. But if the rest of your arm hits me and it's hitting my face and it's... Oh, oh, these ones, I'm getting clotheslined. Bro, I hate to break it to you. My shit's a foul. Now this action might surprise some of you. And if you aren't aware that you are doing it, I highly recommend if you have the capacity to have your games that you play, even local scrimmages, if you have the capacity to use a GoPro or some sort of recording device like a phone to record your game and see that type of action, if you are doing that, real simple thing that you can do is just pull your hand out and it will absolutely help. And just focusing on getting your body in front of the ball. One big thing that I remember a good coach that I had taught me was that your job isn't necessarily to stop the ball every single time. If you can, absolutely, absolutely. But you can't going in, you can't go into a defensive action thinking that you're gonna stop every single ball. You have to think that you're trying to slow the ball. You have to think that you're trying to minimize options. Now, if you can minimize their options, it's better for you. They have to take less you know, the, the, the less advantageous option for them, the less of an advantage option to them. And that's ultimately what good defense is made up of. By getting in and sliding into charges, by communicating to your teammates and saying, get him, I'll chase him, and, and aligning your bodies really well, but also staying in front of them to be an absolute pest is really what makes Marcus Smart such a fantastic defender. And really, I do believe that he is one of the best defenders that we've seen in at least the last 20 years. I would say that there's other defenders that are as, you know, like sort of, they, they do aspects as good as what he does, but as an all around defender, I think there's an argument for say someone like Kawhi Leonard, but I don't know that Kawhi Leonard's getting charge calls as much as what he is. I don't know that Kawhi Leonard is getting as many hustle plays. He does absolutely get hustle plays, and you can see that in my reaction, there's a couple of hustle plays in there for Kawhi Leonard. However, I do think that Marcus Smart does it a little bit, a little bit more thoroughly, a little bit more consistently. He's much more of a consistent player, and I think that's because of the fact that he invests so much more of his time into being a defensive asset. Kawhi Leonard is absolutely much more of an offensive and defensive threat, much more of a well-rounded player. Now guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. However, if you do disagree with anything that I've said, or you want more information about any of the comments and call-outs that I've made in this breakdown, jump in the comments below and let me know so I can get back at you. I promise, I'll get back to you. All right, until next time, make sure you're looking after yourself, you take care, be safe. All right. Take care. Peace.